Tell a friend to tell a friend. That do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K25 next gen build video. And today I have a special 6 foot 10 big body beans build for you guys that can do everything on the court. This build is not lacking in any category. And I'm going to show you how to create this build if you watch the video to the end. And I'll show you. So choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's a like button time. And I need you guys to go down there and hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes. And if you haven't already, hit the link in the description and join the Discord. Or hit the link in the description and follow me on Twitch. So we're going with the small forward position with this um, build right here. Uh, 6'10", like I said, for the height. 222 on the weight. 73 wingspan. Now, if you want more three-point shooting, just go ahead and take your wingspan down. But you know when you take your wingspan down, um, you still go down. And that's what I was going to do. But I ended up just going with a little bit more steel on this build. Now, if you don't care about the steel and you don't care about the shot blocking, then go ahead and do that because that's an option some people may want. They probably want an 83 three-point shot instead of an 80, but um, we're going to get into the build. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So with the finishing on this build, we wanted to make sure that we can finish good once we get to the rim. So in order to do that, we're going to take the driving dunk to an 87. Now, finishing is not as good this year, in my opinion, as it was last year. Um, they kind of toned that down a little bit, and it is visible. You know, when you go into the goal, people kind of stop you from getting to the rim from time to time. It don't matter how high your driving dunk is but you know it, it can't be um worked out you feel what i'm saying you just have to know what you're doing and use the dunk meter a little bit more i think they're trying to get people to go to that um as far as the driving layup we're going to take that up to a 70 um the close shots are going to go to an 80 on its own because we do have posts going on this bill and we're going to go ahead and take that up to an 85 85 post control this year is really really good i have that on a bunch of bills that's why i'm so confident in telling you guys if you don't have post control on your bill you are missing out and also standard dunk too and with this build we want some big man contact dunk so we are going to take that standard dunk to 81 so we can get rise up on silver as you can see now the finishing is really really good as you can see and we're going to come down to the um the physicals so we're going to get the speed up to at least a 75 it can go up a little bit more agility we're going to get that to a 72 um the strength we're going to get that strength up to an 86 now if you want more in any category um, thinking of your cap breakers, make sure you adjust the um, the height, weight, and wingspan or whatever. Because if you don't, say for instance, this 86, this is all we get. Now we get the cap breaker. We can't add anything to this strength, so you have to keep that in mind. I think you have to have. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming that's how it is. That you have to have the extra space in order to get those cap breakers okay so like with the strength you can't get no more than the 86 so i would say take your weight up a little bit so you can get some more space in there so you can get the strength or whatever i'll show you another category well i can show you speed as you can see the speed it can go to a 78 but we're going to take it to a 75 so if you got your five cap breakers you could put those three on the speed because you do have that space to put it right there okay so that's an example as far as the vertical we're going to get that to a 75 um that's what we got for the finishing, man. We have um, gold post powerhouse. Not necessarily worried about having post up port on gold. I think it's fine um, on silver, but that post powerhouse is what you're looking for, okay? And as you can see, we still got some um, pretty good finishing. Now, let's go ahead and get to the green bean. Make your girl screen badge. This build does have an 83 point shot. That's what I decided to go with. I was going to go with a 78. But when people see 78, they think the bill can't shoot. And I'm a firm believer that you can shoot with a 78-3 or a 77-3, 79-3, 83, whatever, man. Just don't go too low. As far as the mid-range shot, we're going to do a 71 only because we want post-fade feet on um, silver. And that's what we got, as you can see. As far as the free throw, we're going to take that up to a 61. So we do get some pretty good shooting on this bill, in my opinion. Uh, most people probably think the shooting is too low because a lot of people can't shoot this year. But me personally, I go out there with a low three-point shot and make my shots. You know what I'm saying? You have to find what works for you, find what jump shot works for you. I'm going to be honest. The jumper that been working the best for me is kind of those set shot type jumpers or bases. And I'll explain that more in a jump shot video. But as you can see, set, set shot specialist for this bill is on silver. And I think that's pretty good. Okay, but let's go ahead and get it to the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end. <coughs> Excuse me. So everybody can see this video. As far as the pass, actually, we're going to get that up to a 75. Still pretty good passing on this build. Break start on silver, diamond on silver. So you can get the ball to your teammates on time on target anytime you get ready. As far as the ball handle, we're going to get that up to a 77. 
um, we can get unpluckable in there um, we can and if you want a pluckable on silver take your post control to an 86 um, you know it'd be little small things like that that people don't pay attention to you know what I'm saying because one tick here one tick there give you a badge on another level so pay attention to that as far as the speed of ball we're going to do a 68 that's all we need and as you can see we get ankle sass we get handle for days we get strong handles on hall of fame we get lightning lunch as well so yes you will be able to dribble with this build no need to worry about that so you don't have to just depend on the point guard or whoever to get your shot you can get your own shot with this build not saying you're going to be dribbling super fast but you will be able to dribble and that's the most important thing all right let's go ahead and get into the defense now with the defense like i said if you want more three-point shooting your defense does take a hit when it comes to the steal it does take a hit when it comes to the block so if you want that 83 three-point shot like i was talking about earlier go ahead and take your wingspan down and your steal and block will also go down too but as it sit now we do have um a 74 interior defense which i think is pretty good we get post lockdown on this bill as far as the shot blocking we did take that up to an 84 now if i was to take my wingspan up i probably wouldn't even take the shot blocking that high um because it would change but an 84 block is pretty good in my opinion you will be able to block a lot of shots you got paint patrol in there you got high flying denier and we also have pogo which will go up here in a second as far as the perimeter defense now keep in mind you are 16 so it's some badges that you don't get and those badges where well, that badge is on ball minutes you can't get that no matter how high you take your perimeter defense up you can't get that badge now you can upgrade pick dodge or all ball pass and move by enforcer well yeah i think yeah you can get a movement force on goal um but as you can see we're just gonna leave it right here at the 73 but you can take it up um if you want to um I, I can't remember if you can get it up that high i think you have to take the weight all the way down or something like that maybe you can get it up to an 84 then but um all we need is that 73 man that's enough to slow people down and we got a move button for to help us out as well so uh no need to worry about that as far as the steel now i wanted more steel on this build so that's why i took the wingspan um up so you can get that 79 steel um interceptor on silver is really really good this year um on gold it's even better but uh we got silver glove and silver intercept on this bill as far as the rebound we're going to do an 85 on the defense and a 60 on the offense which is still pretty good for a small forward we got gold box silver pogo silver rebound chaser right 75 speed 72 agility 86 strength 75 vert Let's get it to the shades up because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, we got T Mac, we got Rui, and we have Laura Marketing. And um, Rui and uh, Laura Marketing is an awesome, good comparison right there, man. They're both tall like that. And most definitely, uh, market, Marketing, he's that type of player right there. So we have the versatile defender. That's the bill. Make sure you like the video, share the video, and I'm out of here, man. Charge!